In the ancient days, long before any navigational tools were made, long before a, a compass, long before any uh, navigation instruments were made, they have navigators, and uh, what were they? They were astrologers. They, they were called keepers of the stars, and they would look up at the stars. They would gaze at the stars as the uh, ships would sail across the sea, and as they kept an eye on those stars, they would know where every one of these stars were, and they'd stay focused upon those stars, so they would and get lost because if they went the wrong direction and they, they ended up getting turned around, they ended up getting lost and so that, that would be to their doom. That would be to their detriment and so these navigators were extraordinarily important so that they would keep the stars and they would stay focused upon the stars. That way they knew exactly how to navigate that ship and they knew the direction that they were going. Anything else would get them in trouble and put them in grave danger. Now keep Keep that in mind with Hebrews chapter 12, verses 1 and 2, and it says this, Therefore, since we have so great a cloud of witness surrounding us, let us also lay, a, uh, lay aside every encumbrance and the sin which so easily entangles us, and let us run with endurance the race that is set before us. And so he talks about the cloud of witnesses. He's talking about all those that have gone on before us. Look in the 11th chapter of the book of Hebrews and you find that you know a great chapter of uh, mighty men and women of faith they had this that phenomenal faith in God and so he says what do we do he says we uh, run that race with endurance how do we run that race with endurance we lay aside all of the things that are going to weigh us down we lay aside all of those weighty weighty things every encumbrance and the sin which so easily entangles us we we get rid of that sin we remove it from our life it's just like a, a runner a jogger you look at them and they're wearing a tank top and they're wearing these little shorts and they wear these shoes that are extraordinarily light and they want to be as light as they possibly can that way nothing weighs them down they don't get out there and run a marathon in combat booth because it's going to weigh them down so they get as light as they possibly can that's what the bible's saying right here all of these things that are going to trip us up all of these uh, sins the encumbrance of sin and the sin which so easily entangles us. We need to get those things out of our lives, but that's not all that we need to do. He goes on in verse two and he says, fixing our eyes on Jesus, the author and the perfecter of our faith. So we fix our eyes upon Jesus, just like the keeper of the stars that is looking to the stars to navigate them. Where do I go? What do I do? Which way do I turn? Well, we keep our eyes fit focused upon Jesus because he is the author. He's the author. He's the originator and he is the finisher. He starts it and he finishes the author and the finisher of our faith. So it's to him that we look at, we get rid of the sin, we get lay all of that side, we do away with it, it's just weighing us down, it's going to trip us up, and we keep our eyes focused upon Jesus, who is the author and the finisher, the one who started our faith, and the one who is going to end our faith because he said that he is going to complete the good work that he began in you. That's what his word promises us. So we keep our eyes focused upon Jesus. And it says right here, who for the joy set before him endured the cross, despising the shame and is set down at the right hand of the throne of God. Jesus saw the cross. And the Bible says with joy, he endured the cross. The cross was by no means joy, but the faith of Jesus, Jesus knew it was on the other side of the cross. The cross was shame, but he says he despised the shame. He got through the cross, the other side of the cross. And he did that for you and for me knowing that was what was on the other side of the cross was joy. And so whatever we face in this life, we keep our eyes focused upon Jesus who starts our faith and he finishes our faith. We lay aside every bit of that sin, but we keep our eyes focused upon Jesus. And just like the keeper of the stars, when we keep our eyes on him, 
He's going to navigate us wherever we go. Knowing even on the other side of the pains and the sufferings, he knows what's on the other side is joy. So we keep our eyes focused upon him. Friends, that's good news. Good news worthy of sharing. Would you share that so others can hear, so others can receive, others can believe. And keep your eyes focused upon Jesus, the author and the perfecter of our faith. Share this video so others can hear. What time is it? It's time to share the good news.